Hi and welcome to another video. Um, this time I was thinking of doing, well, record the Ignis raid and doing some com uh, commentary over it. So yeah, um, you start off in the starting area here with the Ramanas talking shit. So you just stand here, wait for the barrier to be dissolved and yeah, let's just wait. <laughs> When Ramanas destroys the barrier, um, then we run into the first area where we have to collect spirits from monsters. So basically you just kill them um, here and in the uh, low level. Oh shit, I forgot the wheel. One thing to be noticed though is that uh, in the lower level the monsters that spawn there are bigger. The monsters that spawn there in the lower level are stationary. So if you have a big AoE like a Pyrotawist or even an Inquisitor like me, then you could just put one person in charge there for you know keeping track of the amount of spirits needed still. And uh, And the rest of uh, rest of you are uh, around here, uh, clearing the mobs here. When you collect enough, then you can just uh, leave the spirits into well, inject the spirits into this tree, and then yeah. You just inject the spirits into the tree. <laughs> when you injected 300 spirits, uh, then the next area unlocks. And if you can see here, there's a black magic control device and one for each color. Um, the blue, yellow, green, and red. All you have to do basically is that they will, they will spawn orbs um, around the area, sometimes in the top side over here, in the corner here, and sometimes in the middle here. What you want to do is basically, uh, let's see if we can find a orb soon. There is. Here's a blue crystal. You just basically whack it in to the control device and it starts lighting up. Once all five lights up and there will be another control device. Let's see that's a red one. There will be another control device that's um is it called control device? I'm not sure. This the magic condenser device. It's gonna light up, and that's when you have to feed it spirits from monsters. So now the magic condenser has been activated. Then all you have to do is run back here, protect the magic condenser device, and feed it spirits. Just kill mo monsters uh, close to it, I guess. Ba, ba, ba. If you're quick enough, if you kill monsters quick enough, you can do it in one go, but otherwise, you just you basically just um, put put the uh, orbs back into the devices again and repeat the process. We got it, right? Yeah, that's 50 spirits. And once the seal has been broken, the next area unlocks, and it's the first boss called the Prodded Horse, I think. Yeah, the Prodded Horse. The Prodded Horse got a few AoEs, but all you have to think about is... Well, if you got Foretell, then you don't really have to think at all. So now, 
one of the oracles, one of us oracles did foretell and we don't really have to think about dodging or anything and we can focus on DPS. And that's the probably the optimal way to clear this boss or any boss for the matter. Foretell is so OP. <laughs> so yeah, um, that was the boss. Uh, as I said, he got a few AoEs. Um, and he does quite a lot of damage if you don't have foretell. So be sure to dodge it or use foretell. The next area is here where you have to protect uh, power control device and Ramanas. Um, also, the there will be two generators on the western. There will be generators here, uh, eastern power supply. Oh, well, generators. Um, okay, power supply, there will be an eastern one here, uh, we call it bot for some reason. And on the top side, um, there will be a western one. It will say where monster will spawn, so you don't really have to think about it. Just run to the area where um, the monster will spawn and protect it, basically. Um, what you want to what you want to need is basically a lot of damage. In my case, we got Albero and we got me with the wheel. Um, Inquisitor wheel is pretty strong here, so or what, just Inquisitor in general. We just clear everything instantly. And then as soon as you have cleared it, run back here and power up the control device and keep charging it until it reach 600k. Uh, 600, 600k. And be sure to protect Ramnos too, because if he dies, then the game is over and you have to redo the raid. Also, you you always want uh, someone in the middle part because if you don't, oh shit, that fucked up. That rotation though. Sisor. Because if you don't, well, there are monsters like archers and stuff spawning randomly here. And they do three damage, and you see, as you can see, he only got like three, three fifty HP, like that one. The more that are charging the power control device, the faster it goes. So, uh, if you don't have anything to do, charge the control device. As for what kind of classes are good, um, it's basically stuff with both good single target damage and um, a good AoE. Um, what would be good is basically Inquisitors and Taoists. Pyro Taoists. Pyro Taoists got a lot, a lot of you know damage, single target and AoE damage. So yeah, they also got uh, attribute damage which ignores defense. I think. Last time I checked, I can't. Don't quote me on that. I'm not entirely sure on that one. So yeah, it's um, basically what comes to mind right now is py pyro Taoists and um, Inquisitors, basically charging it. When you're pretty close to 600, you don't need to go de defend the generators because. The generator just basically makes it faster for this to charge. Once you have finished um, charging this power control device, you will you will be teleported to the starting area, and you basically have to defeat Ignis now. So it's it's boss time, and you interact with the barrier, and we, you will be teleported into the boss area, and. As soon as you do, the boss battle starts. Uh, like the prodded horse, uh, Ignas also got a few damage things.
but if you have Fortel, then there is no problem at all. Or if you have Albero. <laughs> Be sure to thank the bus driver and... Uh, yeah, that's the Ignis raid for you. It isn't that hard, all you need to do, all you need is basically, basically damage and AoE and you should be fine what I don't well if you have the a fucking plus 20 weapon I guess, I guess uh, there's a lot more options but right now what comes to mind is um, inquisitors it doesn't have to be zealot inquisitors uh, like me but you need inquisitors uh, for the wheel um, and they got god smash which does a lot of damage too <laughs> 